Hi guys, Tyler here. I have been requested many times to make an animal tier list and it makes sense. Who is not more qualified to rank animals than an expert on derivative rat farm mechanics? So how do you compare the intricate differences in values between animals with different purposes such as combat versus utility? What sort of criteria should I use and how do I make all this data and variation comparable? I knew if I covered this it would have to be mathematical, not subjective, and consistent. I wanted anyone to be able to use my formula and instantly get a rank that accurately determines the tier of the animal. I got to work and spent minutes cultivating the most efficient formula possible. Let's take a look at the formula and how each criteria fits in. We first consider the overall DPS of the animal and multiply it by the nutritional efficiency of slaughtering baby animals aka spawn camping. This gives a strong indicator of overall nutritional efficiency and combat aptitude. Then we divide all this by the number of legs that a creature has for obvious reasons. Afterwards we multiply by the number of offspring per year giving us a non-standardized power value. To legitimize this value we multiply it by e to the power of pl aka pecker length. This was a difficult value to determine as I was not about to google the average PL of 100 plus animals. I am already on enough lists. I found the average bison PL and divided it by the average meat yield to obtain a modifier that converts meat yield into a mathematically proven PL value. This was with some hiccups as it determined a turtle has an average hot dog of 7.3 inches which was oddly frightening but for the most part it was 100% accurate. All of these calculations formulated a value I call the standardized technical distribution score. Using this advanced formula, I broke animals up into six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. In S tier, you will find the cream of the crop, peak combat ability paired with livestock efficiency. Leading the pack in the number one spot is the Mega Sloth. The Mega Sloth is an absolute powerhouse with good DPS and one of the largest hoses in the industry. This bad boy earns the highest STD score by a large margin. In A tier you will find highly viable animals that just don't make the S tier cutoff. Notable entries include the Warg for its fighting power and the Ostrich for its uh, well endowed stat line. B tier animals are alright but just don't deliver the same value that A tier provides. They can still make excellent pets but with non-meta animals like huskies and turkeys I would avoid prioritizing them. C tier is full of animals that are best slaughtered on site. It is filled with an alarming amount of foxes and birds which speaks for itself. Following C tier is a bunch of unviable crap that would never be livestock in real life. This list includes chickens, ducks, and raccoons. And last and certainly least is F tier. Now this is the only tier that made me rethink my formula as somehow snakes and cats got included in this list. Instead of reformatting the formula, I decided that this was a statistical outlier that did not make sense and elevated them to S tier on special merit. At this point you might say, Tyler, doesn't your formula only rank animals on dick size? Yes. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing.